Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Straight Talk Podcast. We are here again, delivering you the news that you need to hear. And that you've been missing because it's big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome what, what, back to the millions. What we got on today, Vin? So we got some KSI and Joe Fournier. They just had a fight recently and there has been some... Um, Big well, Muay Thai, some some MMA involved. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He wh- whooped out his Conor McGregor bro, and just man, I bet that's what Conor McGregor wished he did to Floyd yeah. Mayweather. Seeing as he lost anyway. But what did you think to the fight of of how short it was, Vin? Um, you know, I didn't expect KSI to come out. No, you know, I did actually. I, I expected KSI to come out and fucking destroy him, and he did. And we had a beautiful over round before he knocked him out with that elbow. Which is real lucky because you were definitely going to win that fight. Yep. But I, feel, I actually feel for him. But for any of them haters saying, oh, he's a cheating bastard, fuck you. He ain't cheated. He walked into it in an accident. Accident's elbow. Accidents do happen. No, he doesn't. And I, I think you were actually genuine on that. I don't think that he meant to elbow him at all. No. After all, he ain't exactly a seasoned professional fighter, is he? So mistakes like that are probably going to happen anyway. It was all over the place, to be fair. Like, I was looking at him thinking, to me, that is just, I mean, again, I don't know much about boxing, but when I look at KSI box, I don't see a boxer, bro. I, I see a raging. I just see someone that's out of control that he can put a punch together, but I don't know. I just like looking at Jake Paul better. I think there's a lot more skills of fire. Just all there together with it, I think. So I weren't that impressed anyway. I thought it was going to win him, though, because I didn't think Joe were any good either. In case no. I would win him rounds that they were fighting. I'm sure so. he used to have a title, you know. Oh, Joe? Like, WB something. Are you sure? I'm 100%. It's in his uh, Instagram description. Really? Yeah. How mad is that? That guy. Holy shit. It might be like one of them titles from way back or something. It's got to be, surely. It's Bob R anyway. It looked lost in there. But it were big. KSI with the... Oof, with the elbow. Bosh. Smashed him. Knocked him out. So, a few points we just want to cover quickly. To me, KSI looks stronger in that fight. Definitely. As we've just mentioned and we brought up. And his last two, like, two, three fights, he's been knocking people out. He has Left, indeed. right and centre. So he can do it. Center. He can do it. We've obviously mentioned the elbow. Um, after the fight, Joe wanted to let his, let his thoughts be known. We're and happy. he was not happy. Did you watch it, bro? He did a little interview, didn't you? And, <clears throat> yeah, it weren't good. It's just... He even brought up the, the picture of KSI elbowing him. So he put that picture on the interview and he's like, look, on his phone. Um, and then he was saying that he wanted to fight him again in Las Vegas where there were no paid off judges because this is kind of like his thing with the zone, apparently. <clears throat> um, what do you make of that, bro? What are your thoughts uh, on that? Do, do you yeah, think I can, that there's I, all... I can see he's like, I can see he's understanding because ref were at a point eye view, a bird's eye view of the elbow. But I think referee thought, might have not been an intentional, but he definitely should have stopped it and said, no contest. Mm. Or disqualification. It shouldn't have been a... Dis- well, it weren't, and it shouldn't have been. But I could have understood if the ref did give a cop disqualification. Yeah. Because he knocked him out by an elbow. Which yeah. Which is obviously an illegal... Illegal punch. Not even a punch. An illegal move. Don't you think it's crazy after them watching that that he's still actually got the win from it? Like, don't you think that I they think should... been ruled as no contest. I actually, think, I'm not too sure. I think it should have been, surely, because yeah. like that, that completely it's a bit unfair, isn't pissed, it? Doesn't it? Yeah. It's like not even a padded elbow either, it's a straight up yeah. elbow, so and you know, <laughs> knocked him clean out, didn't it? Yeah. Eyes rolled back a lot. So it was funny. Um and we've just probably put up a video now of KSI saying that it were absolutely devastated that he caught him with an elbow. Yeah, he weren't happy on this interview. We were like, all this hard work, all this dedication and effort. Has just gone down the fucking drain because he accidentally hit him with an elbow. Could have been so. worse though. He could have got knocked out with an yeah. elbow. So well, at least he, he knocked him out. You know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't like to be knocked out by an elbow. But what has Joe Fonny got to lose? The guy's a billionaire. 
he, he likes to say how much he's got money, doesn't he? Yeah, did you see his war car? He literally had bitches with like money. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see his war car. There were loads of girls with like 20 quid stuffed in the trousers with <laughs> money guns and everything. They were like, Man. What, firing money in crowd? Yeah. Shut up. I, I swear they were. It was very good. Oh, that's sick. But that's what money can do. That's sick. But I don't think this guy cares. He's won a, he's won a title. Um, he's a billionaire. And he's no contest. So stubs all around for him. He's winning in life, isn't he? Yeah, it was a mad knockout. But I'd, but I'd rather be sat here with the Straight Talk podcast fans rather than living his luxury billionaire. Oh, ah. Oh, ah. We're going to get there anyway one day, Vin. We just need you to keep on liking and subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. If you did enjoy this video, me and Vinny would really appreciate your support. If you have made it to the end, if you haven't made it to the end, Fair then enough. it's not for them wasters. They can fuck off. But <laughs> if you, you special person, have made it to the end. Even if it's one, two, three, four. Subscribe. Hit a comment up. Let us talk to us. We'll talk back to you. And uh, get involved before we get too big. Because yeah. we'll remember you. We will we'll remember, remember you. these fans who have been with us from the days. From the Tyson Fury Usyk days. And now it's the millions. And millions of the... Of the Straight Talk Podcast fans. Exactly. <laughs> you're, all, you're all here witnessing it right now. Yeah. The future is to come. Yeah, the future is straight talk. So like and comment. Let Keep us know straight your talking. Thoughts. Keep straight talking. Thank you for watching, guys. See you later. See you later.